work has begun on a huge haul for the Royal Navy's next generation Type 31 frigates, to build two ships side by side. Standing at 147 meters long, the hull at Rosyth includes 30-meter-high, megadors, and will be able to accommodate two of the 138.7-meters vessels being assembled at the same time side by side. The British company Babcock has unveiled the assembly hall that will initially be used, for the manufacturing of the new Type 31 General Purpose Frigate program, for the British Navy and provides a modern, future-ready facility designed to assemble two vessels side by side. British company Babcock awarded a £31.5 million contract to Robertson Construction, for the development of a new assembly hall at its Rosyth site. The construction project will support circa 100 positions locally in Scotland, and a further 100 positions nationally throughout the supply chain. Standing at 147 metres long, the hall at Rosyth includes 30 metre high, megadors, and will be able to accommodate two of the 138.7 metre vessels being assembled at the same time side by side. During the ceremony a virtual message was heard from Defence Secretary Ben Wallace, who said, This vast industrial facility will see Scottish shipbuilders build our latest warships that will take pride of place in the Royal Navy fleet. Groundbreaking for the new hall commenced in April 2020. The steel structures are now in place in preparation for ship assembly, which will commence in 2021. Learning lessons from previous programs to reinvigorate the shipbuilding capabilities at Rosyth, the new hall has state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, and new digital systems as well as gantry stair access inside the structure, to remove the need for scaffolding. This means personnel will be able to safely access the vessels without leaving the building. The Type 31 program employs more than 1,250 people across the UK, which will create a legacy of infrastructure, innovation and skills for the shipbuilding sector. Off the back of the program, Babcock have also jump-started a further 150 apprentice roles to set the sector up for success in the next generation. The Type 31 is a planned class of frigates that will be manufactured for the British Navy. In November 2019, British company Babcock has been contracted by the British Ministry of Defence MOD, to deliver five Type 31 frigates. The Type 31 builds upon the already successful Iver Hootfelt global frigate design, incorporating changes to provide a compliant and adaptable modern platform. In September 2017, the British Royal Navy released a graphic to present the design of the new Type 31 frigate. Core requirements of the Type 31 frigate include a medium-caliber gun, point defense systems, hangar and a flight deck for Wildcat or 10-ton helicopter operated by a crew of around 100 with space for 40 more personnel. On 1 October 2020, Bay Systems announced it was under contract to supply five Bofors 57 MK3 medium-caliber guns and 10 Bofors 40 MK4 small-caliber guns to the Royal Navy for the first five Type 31 frigates. The Type 31 frigate, also formerly known as the Type 31E frigate or General Purpose Frigate GPFF, is a planned class of frigate, for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy intended, to enter service in the 2020s alongside the more capable Type 26 frigate. It is intended that the Type 31 frigate will replace some of the Type 23 frigates. The Type 31 is part of the British government's national shipbuilding strategy. The Type 31 frigate came out of the 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review. The review authorized a replacement program, known as the Global Combat Ship GCS, to replace the Royal Navy's 13 Type 23 frigates. Earlier that year, Bay Systems was awarded a four-year, £127 million contract by the Ministry of Defense to design the new class. It was planned that two variants of the class would be built, five general-purpose frigates and eight anti-submarine warfare frigates. There was to be little difference between the two variants, except for the Sonar 2087. Initial expectations were that all 13 of the global combat ships would be built starting in 2016, and gradually replace the Type 23 frigates one for one out to the mid-2030s. The 2015 Strategic Defense and Security Review decided that only eight anti-submarine warfare Type 26 frigates would be ordered. Five general-purpose frigates to a different design altogether would be ordered to give at least 13 frigates in RN service. In order to maintain national shipbuilding capacity, 
the 2017 National Shipbuilding Strategy proposes ordering an initial batch of five Type 31E frigates with an initial in-service date in 2023, intended for export with their cost limited to a maximum £250 million each, to be followed by a second batch order of Type 31 for the Royal Navy. The Type 31 is projected to be built in modular form as with the Queen Elizabeth class carriers at several commercial shipyards, and assembled in one central yard. Throughout 2017 several designs from different companies were suggested as contenders for the Type 31. Bay submitted two designs, Avenger, essentially an improved Batch 3 River class OPV, and Cutlass, a significantly stretched and enhanced derivation of the Al Shamik class Corvette. BMT submitted a design called, Venator 110, with Stellar Systems putting forward Project, Spartan, and Babcock offered a design named, Arrowhead 120. In October 2017, Bay Systems announced its intention to withdraw from the Type 31E competition as a main contractor, citing the capacity constraints of its shipyards on the Clyde, which were full with the work on the new river-class patrol vessels and Type 26 frigates. Instead, Bay announced a partnership with Camel Laird, whereby Bay would provide its expertise in design and systems integration, while Camel Laird would be the prime contractor and be responsible for the assembly of the ships at its yard at Birkenhead. The planned design has been named, Leander, a reference to three previous classes of ship in the Royal Navy. In November 2017, it was announced that BMT and Babcock signed a cooperation agreement for the Type 31. They did not choose between their respective, Venator 110, or, Arrowhead 120, designs, but instead would explore their designs to determine the best possible option. In late May 2018, Babcock, partnered with BMT and Thales Group announced the, Arrowhead 140, design, based on the hull of the Danish Iver Hootfeldt class frigates. The competition was suspended on 20 July 2018 due to, insufficient compliant bids being received, However the Times claimed this was due to a funding crisis, however the competition was restarted in August 2018. It was announced on 12 September 2019 that the Arrowhead 140 design had been selected for the Type 31 frigate. A contract was formally awarded to Babcock Group on 15 November 2019, for an average production cost of £250 million per ship and an overall program cost set to be £2 billion with £1.25 billion value to prime contractor Babcock. On 20 January 2020, the Public Accounts Committee was informed by the Permanent Secretary for Defence that the first ship will be in the water by 2023 but the in-service date will be in 2027. This is in contrast to earlier statements that the in-service date would be in 2023.